hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video i will going to show you how to create dynamic routes okay so last day we have showed you how to create a route how to set up a route and how to create links so i already installed a bootstrap and i created this menu in our last video so if you don't know how to set up bootstrap and how to create a link please see the last video of this series and i will provide a link inside the description box also so that was a simple static url you can see here this is simply home blog contacts so if you want to create dynamic url means suppose we have products so there are defined products now i am going to create a dynamic link so we will pass the product and it will display only that product but for this we will just create a simple one route so let's create a product component and i will step by step will show you how to create a dynamic links so for now i will create a component for products okay so first of all this is my visual studio code and i will create a component inside this app and inside this components folder okay so i want to see all the components inside the same folders so i will create component inside this so let's create a component so to create a component ng for angular g for generate c for component and i want to create component inside this so right here components and after that the name of the component that is product okay so product so just enter this so it will create a product component inside this components folder so here you can see inside the components folder there is product component okay so now here if we just want to use the routing inside this product we need to register this product component inside the app routing dot module dot ts okay so how we can register this so just here we'll import the component name so here my component name that is the class name that is product component here just write this way from the path okay so write here components slash product slash product component okay we don't need to write any extension we will just write the component file and we need to use this product component from inside the routes so that we can create a link so suppose here i will create a link so here in the same way write path for product slash i want to pass the dynamic content here so here we'll write the name and whole thing will under the invite comma and the component name that is product component okay so this will be the dynamic things okay so now we need to accept these things from the product component so simply just go to the product component ts file and here we will import one things i want to activate the routes so write import and here we'll use activated route okay and it will come from angular router okay so right here from at the rate angular router so this is okay and we need to use these things from the constructor okay here i will create any private variable so first of all we need to accept this name so i will set the property as a name and by default it is blank so i will create a private variable that is private and route colon activated route so this is the activated route so write it here so activated route is included into the constructor so when this component will load it will get the value inside this route so inside the ng on init we need to use the property that is product component property the name so just write this dot name actually i want to print the name from product component dot html file okay so to print the name we need to pass this property into the component file so this dot name equal to this dot route 
dot snapshot dot params so i want to use the parameters so right here params and the name so this name always should be same as this so it will accept these things okay so as we are getting the property name inside this product component dot ts simply we can use this from the product component dot html file okay so here i simply first write h1 this is from product component and as we are getting this property so we can print this property so just create another h3 tag and write product name that is the name so right here name okay so now if we just go to this link suppose product slash something so for right now computer so just enter this you can see this is from product component and product name is computer so this is the colon name it is coming dynamic so if we change this suppose i am writing the mobile so it will come mobile so right here tv so it will appear as tv okay so you can provide any name so basically this is the dynamic routing okay i think you have got idea about dynamic routing creation so please comment if you have any queries about this video and next day i will discuss about the module based route okay suppose in our project there is user admin so we will create all links separately so while we are going to load admin we will not use the user routes and these related things so it will basically give you more clean code and enhance your project speed so don't miss that video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day